Hey guys, today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look. It's a um, pretty dramatic kind of statement eye look for the holidays. You wear it for like a Christmas party, a family get together, anything like that. Kept the eyes pretty simple, um, aside from the gold and black winged liner. And then just a classic red lip, perfect for any kind of holiday party. So if you want to see how I got this look, you're in the right place. Just keep on watching. I'm going to start with my eyes. I already have my base done, just foundation and concealer, because I'm doing a foundation first impression on this foundation. It's the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. So if you haven't already seen that, it should either be up already, and I'll link it down below, or it'll be up soon. So yeah, keep your eye out for that. Um, but I'm going to start with my base already done, so I'm going to start with my eyes. And today I'm going to be using my Morphe 350M. So the one's all matte because I'm going to keep my eyes fairly matte and kind of like natural looking. And then I'm going to do winged eyeliner with this gold liquid liner by Urban Decay. It's the heavy metal liquid liner in the shade Midnight Cowboy. So the rest of the eye makeup is going to be like relatively simple, nothing too crazy. So yeah, I'm just going to use that 350 matte. So starting on a prime my eyelids and I'm going to use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion Original. Set the primer. I'm going to mix the like two lightest shades. Mostly it's going to be that second one in, but a little bit of this one just to set the lid. And to start in the crease, I'm just going to start with a light color. I'm going to start with this one right here. I'm going to use this brush that I have from Tarte. It came in the Christmas set that they had last year. It's just a double-ended brush. I'm going to use the really fluffy part with that light brown. This darker brown right here. This one. Same tone, just a little bit darker. So I'm going to use that on my Morphe M441. I'm just going to like load the color up, tap off the excess. And then just to deepen up the crease just a tiny little bit, I'm just going to go in with this color right here on a kind of smaller pencil type brush, the Morphe R41. Again, just packing the color on, tapping off the excess. And I'm just going to go back in with that original brush and blend everything out. Just going to add in one of the lighter shades on my lid. I'm going to use my flat shader brush from BH Cosmetics as always. For my lid color, I'm going to use these two here and mix them together on my brush. Then just picking up a brush and blending that with the darker shades. Now for eyeliner, I'm going to start with my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black. Now bear with me, this is the first time I've ever done winged liner or attempted to do winged liner on camera without tape. Like even when I'm not doing it on camera, I always have tape to like keep this area clean, but because I'm doing a foundation first impression, I don't really want to rip off all the foundation. That turned out all right. So I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand, and I'm going to use a flat definer brush just to clean up underneath the wing. Now time for 
the glitter liner. I haven't quite decided if I want to do the glitter on top of the black or if I want to do it like outside. I think I'm going to go outside. Wait for this side to dry before I do the other one so that way I don't get glitter in my crease. Alright, now time for the other eye. Alright, and on that side I went over the black a little bit on the glitter so I'm just going to cover that up. I feel like the left side doesn't have as much glitter on it. Okay, well while that finishes drying, I'm going to do my brows. So I'm going to start with using the Anastasia Brow Definer in medium brown. And because that's like quite a bit ashier, obviously a little bit lighter too, but ashier than my hair color, I am going to go in on top with chocolate, which is a little bit more warm. A little bit more concealer on the back of my hand, because, and I'm going to take this brush, it's the Sigma F75 concealer, and I'm just going to put some on the tip of the brush and carve out my brows. Now back to eyes. Now I'm going to work on the lower lash line. This pencil brush I was using in the crease, the R41, and I'm going to pick up that same dark shade, this one down here, this one. And I'm going to pick up my other flat definer brush and I'm going to put in the light and medium brown shades that we used earlier. I'm just going to mix them. I'm just going to go back in and blend that out. And with that flat definer brush that I used earlier, I'm just going to use the lightest two shades that we put on the lid and put them in the inner corner on the lower lash line and kind of blend it into the middle down here. Okay, and then to really make it pop, I'm going to go in with this ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Dirty Talk, which is this really nice gold. I don't know if it, the camera is picking it up, but... I'm going to put that on my bottom waterline. I'm just going to go back in and set my under eye concealer. And for that, I'm just going to use my usual, the MAC Pro Emphasize and the Anastasia Banana Powder. Oh, I think it's starting to get cloudy, so I'm going to shut my window. I'm going to pull my blind down try to fix the lighting in here. Alright, so yeah, it's starting to get really cloudy out, so in order to have like consistent lighting, this is what we're going to have to work with. Alright, for bronzer and contour, I'm going to use this little palette by Bare Minerals. I don't remember what it's called. I got it in the summer. It has um, the high dive bronzer and then the ocean view contour. So I'm going to use those. So for bronzer, I'm going to use this huge brush that I just got and I absolutely love it. It's the Morphe M551. I'm just going to coat it, tap off the excess. All right, now we're bronze. I'm going to try using this brush for contour. I think it might work all right. It's the M437, and I'm going to use the, the Ocean View 
to contour. I used the high dive to bronze, by the way. And I'm actually going to use a little like pencil brush like this and I'm going to take the ocean view and just put it underneath here. Just makes my bottom look look way more pouty because I don't really have like a diff like pouty lips. And I'm just going to ever so slightly use that to contour my nose. I think for blush and highlight, I'm just going to stick with my Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette. I think for blush, I'm going to start with Pomplamousse, which is the matte pink color, which is this one here. And then I'm going to use Rosé Spritz, which is the glowier one as a blush topper on top. I'm going to use a red lipstick so I find if I am using like a red I want my cheeks to have a little bit more color to them so I don't look washed out. Before I do highlight I'm just going to use this. I've been using this like every day. It's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and I'm just going to Take a powder brush. This is the Morphe E3. I'm just gonna run across all three shades and just put it over my skin for like a glow. An inner corner highlight or brow highlight yet. Bum, bum, bum. Well for brow highlight, I've been feeling this combo recently. I'm gonna pick up this Mikasa E20 or E220, it's a concealer brush. And I'm going to mix the MAC Pro Emphasize and my MAC Nylon and put those two together as my brow highlight. I find that um, nylon by itself would be too frosty for a um, brow highlight for me, for my personal preferences. So I just, that's why I've been mixing the two together. Then I'm gonna use my MAC Nylon for my inner corner highlight. For highlight, I am going to use my Morphe M500 and I'm going to mix Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop to start. I start with that and then I'm going to pick up this Morphe fan brush, it's the M310, and just pick up, just pick up Champagne Pop. use that for my nose actually I'm going to pick up my little um, E18 and for my cupid's bow and my nose I mixed champagne pop and prosecco pop as well I'm going to do my lips last so now I'm going to do brow gel All right, and then now I'm going to do lashes and mascara and all that jazz. All right, I'm back, lashes are on. I just popped on these Ardell Double Up Black number 202s. And now I'm just going to mascara my top and bottom lashes, top to blend the lashes in, bottom just to define my lashes. And while that is drying, I will do my lipstick. Today I'm going to be using this Clinique, just a little mini one that I got, but I thought the color was perfect. It's Clinique, what's this called? Clinique Pop Lip Color Plus Primer. And I have it in the shade Cherry Pop, right? Yeah, 08 Cherry Pop. It's a really nice red color. I'm gonna use um, the BH Cosmetics Waterproof Lip Liner in the shade Delight, which is a red. I'm gonna set my face. I'm gonna use my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. It's my favorite. Hey guys, 
that completes this look this is just a nice kind of gold and red holiday look you could wear it for like a christmas party or like a family get together going out with your friends probably even new year's anything like that pretty simple still definitely makes a statement with the gold glitter liner and the red lipstick so if you like this video and you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. You can do it right here if you're on a computer or you can just scroll down from the video and click on subscribe there. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Happy holidays.